Hello friends, welcome back. In this artificial intelligence era, all the companies are automating their stuff in different ways. You would have seen many applications being used to read the face, handwriting, images, image files, and provide us the data. Similarly, AWS has a service called Amazon Text Extract, which can do various such activities. So let's see what is this in details and with some demo. Amazon Text Extract is a service that automatically detects and extracts text and data from scanned documents. It also automatically extracts the handwriting text or data from any document using machine learning. So let's see what are the features it has, the key features. So the key value pair extraction, this makes it easy to import the extracted data into a database or to provide it as a various into an application. Suppose you want those data as a key value pair, like to have the key and the value, you can import those data to your API, to your applications and programming, you can use that data to be extracted, okay? And it gives us you know, a table extraction. So this is helpful. This is helpful for documents that are largely composed of structured data, such as financial report, medical records, and all this. It will have huge records, right? Huge, huge financial record with the table extractions that have column names in top row of the table, followed by the rows and individual entries. So if those kind of data you have, you can easily extract using the text extract. Okay, and it also recognizes the handwriting images, handwriting files. So what happens, Imagine text data can extract the printed text and handwriting from documents written in English with high confidence score. So the confidence score, like converting from handwriting English uh, letter to, uh, to the computerized letter, it takes minimal seconds and converts it to the to, with a high confidence score like 99.9 percentage. .9%. Okay. And also, uh, what it does, it reads the invoices and receipts. So, the invoices and the receipts, what we got it from the shopping center, suppose you have gone to uh, a grocery mart and there you have a long invoices or you have purchased something and you want to just uh, keep a record of that and just calculate the data. The tried from the prices and all, so you can just easily use this uh, text extract to find and make all this for you. It can extract relevant data such as contact information, items purchased, and vendor name from almost any invoice or receipt without need for any templates and configuration. Suppose you're from the universe, if you need the uh, vendor name, the phone number, the the item, and the the required prices, right? And if you want to tally this, you can just use this feature to do that. Also, for the identity documents, suppose if you have a driving license, if you have a voter ID or other card, right? So those, if you want to get extract the uh, data record from that, the data or whatever is printed in that uh, identity document, it can easily be done. So you can automatically extract the specific information, such as date of expiry, date of birth, okay? And whatever the uh, required uh, data you want to extract from the identity card, you can use it. Like you have seen, right, uh, the uh, government official sites or many other uh, sites where for the KYC verifications, so how they do it, uh, whenever you upload your identity uh, card, like your ID card or any kind, other card. Or, so what it does is extract the data and just to verify with the database with the record and the value what they fetch, right? Uh, if it matches, then it will pass. Otherwise, it will it'll throw error like it doesn't match in the existing document at all, right? So signature detections, like the bank, what they do, uh, if you have the signature in the a checkbook, right? They verify that uh, the scan copy or they verify with this uh, uh, automatically the signature be detected uh, and then uh, it just pass that uh, check and all, right? So it enables you to automatically detect the handwritten signature, e signs, and any cells on any document. So it helps you to ensure documents such as loan application forms, checks, and insurance claims are signed. Or most of the companies they use it, insurance companies and all, right? And 
the the next is a lending documents so lending documents you can submit the lending documents for classification splitting and extraction data with standardized keys with high confidence scores so what happen is just highlight the information such as documents and the signatures detected now let's see what is the benefits of using this extract right so the benefits is it extract data very quickly and accurately no code or templates to maintain it's not required any code or any templates to maintain it so lower document processing cost it just charge 1.50 dollar for 100 pages also what it offers it offers free tier for the first 3 months after you sign up your account for the new customers Three months they are giving free to take the uh, document uh, text right for hundred pages per month and, the, and to analyzing hundred page one thousand pages for document detection and analyzing for hundred pages and similarly for expense and analyzing ID card hundred pages and lending applications API this gives two hundred pages per month. So now let's see a small demo of uh, uploading one scan copy and fetching the records. How we can do that, right? Let's log into your uh, AWS console. Okay, and there you can search for uh, Textract. Textract, right? So you just search for the Textract. Uh, you'll find this Imagine Textract, right? Just click on this. What you'll see here, and uh, after that, you just go with. Uh, uh, this, this gives the example here how it uh, works, right? If you see this image here. What is does Amazon text data extract? You are just putting this scanned copy and the documents and everything. It just converts to text fields and tables, and then uh, this can be passed to the any API or uh, Amazon augmented AI and other services. After that, uh, can be used for various purposes, various uses. Now let's go ahead and try Amazon text extract here. So here it just giving uh, some example uh, some. Example document here. See, analyzing the document, uh, you can see here. Here it has a scanned copy, and it can you can see the result over here, right? But let me let us do the same thing uh, by our, ourselves. Suppose I'll just go uh, to uh, do this uh, analyze uh, some expenses. Okay, analyze some expenses, or if I just uh, go for analyzing document. So let's what you have to do. You have to just uh, upload a document here. Okay. Uh, choose a document. So let's go ahead. I have a scan copy in my desktop, right? Uh, suppose I just select this one. Okay. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is a scan copy of the uh, medical bill. Okay. Of the medical bill. Now I've just uploaded it here. Now you can see here, uh, there is a uh, data output options uh, just providing whether you want forms, or tables, stories, and all. Right. Let's uh, select the tables and apply configuration here. Just wait for a few seconds. Let uh, the service or the application uh, process for you, right? Now you can see here it has uh, processed the scanned copy, and you can see here the data, right? Now it gives us uh, in the raw text format. Let's convert into the table format. Okay. Now you can see the date. It gives the date uh, 16 10 2022, and you can see here uh, with all these details. Now it has two pages, one or two. Let's select the second one. Uh, you can see here the quantity, the product name, this table, right? It's extracted pack and batch. See, this medicine name, the HSN, uh, the pack, the batch number, expiry date, everything it has. Now you need this data to be processed to the API to uh, no, process further to find the expiry date, to find any medicines with the batch number or the name, right? So you can do that. Now, if you want to download this data and save, just go here and uh, click on this download results. Okay. So you can see here one G file has been downloaded. Let's go ahead and just click this uh, particular G file and you have this data available. So we have this table one and two, and it also gives the signature for the signature it has the key value pair and all these documents. Uh, everything is just extracted and get to you. Now let's open this uh, table two dot csv, which contains the complete medicine uh, details extracted from that uh, image file. Right? See how it is. 
Now, if I just open this here, uh, see here the quantity, uh, uh, what is the quantity of the medicine, product name, HSM code, right, pack, patch number, expiry date, MRP, and amount, GST, CSG, CGST, and SGST. So everything from the scanned copy, from the scanned invoice, the receipt, we got this in the tabular format. Now, Let's uh, now let's upload uh, one handwriting uh, document and see whether it is converting or not. That's another example. So if I just go and choose document here again, let's choose document. And here I have one another uh, image for handwriting written. So this is what is written here. Now let's go ahead, put in the tables. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, and uh, let's go to the table format. Okay, so what happens here? It just gives everything. It extracted all the uh, handwritten details and just uh, printed it over here, right? So better just check into the raw text. So it just extracted all the English uh, letters, words, and sentences and just put it here. See everything. You can just download this one and just keep it and make your digital notes, right? So this way, you can just use the scan document and whatever uh, tabular documents, expenses, everything, you can just use that. Now, let's see how this thing's been used in programming and API. So there is a document, uh, I'll share this document uh, in the descriptions below. You can use it to read and all. So if you see here, it has everything given here. Uh, so automatically extract text and structure data from documents with emergent extract. So it has given, how using the programming like the Python code, you can extract the documents here. So it has some Python codes. If I just go here, see, uh, let's have this particular image. Okay. So this particular image is having a tabular format with all the expenses in code. And here, uh, one Python program is being written, like import CSV, uh, this program, right? CSV tablet uh, from. And you can see here, uh, being used and it just calculate if the expenses is more than 1,000, more than 1,000, 1,000. So what it'll do, it will just, uh, send one warning, like, uh, um, warning value greater than $1,000 and request review. See here is the output after executing this, uh, this uh, particular script right after executing this particular python script with the input of this image right and it's just giving you in the tablet format with uh, 1500 which is the more it gives us one values so you can use this document for it has uh, more uh, complete details about with uh, the pi if you're put into the python script in the program and working with that with your intelligence side or data science for that i think it would be helpful for you to follow this document and so you can see here it also reads the id card okay id card and give you the complete result like this hope you understood um, how you can use this uh, imagine text tract so to use uh, to convert your image a uh, scanned copy to uh, tablet format on the data you can extract from that copy right so if you have any doubt or any concerns to write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer questions if you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now and get notified when I have more videos in my channel. Thank you.